doesn't smell particularly nice. It's good access for the dog, I guess. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. There we are, we can What a be? That's the lorry done. Ah, you bad Yeah, we're stuck. There's a dog there if you didn't notice. Job for right now is to go and pick up the cow with the crossed hoofs. And we're going to fix the crossed hoofs. And while I'm doing that, Dad's going to take three fat cattle away to the abattoir. Trailer's packed up there. Cow and calf. Oh, I see she's not enjoying walking on those hoofs. There we go. Get them along the road now. Come on. Right, that's that cow off. And now heading along the road to load up three fat cattle. Ah, you are three now. And we're going to load up three of these beasts into that trailer. All going to plan. We've got our three. Put these gates in to split them off. That'll do. Anyone else who has these gates know they weigh a ton, but that's why they're still in one piece, even though they're ancient. That's three of them in there. Fairly large beasts. They're all of last year's calves, three of them. Right, this is going to be a wee bit like the Hoof GP today, but way less uh, knowledgeable. This cow did get done last year, its hoof, but I didn't go that deep and I didn't take loads off just because it's the first time I'd ever done it. and wasn't that confident in going right the way back to where it needs to go but I think I know quite a bit more now about where I need to take it to so I'm gonna have to learn how to do it eventually right here we are see this claws coming over the top of the other one sitting on caddy wampus this hoof is the worst you can see how overgrown it is there it sits kind of like that when there's weight on it. So I need to get rid of that chunk. Flatten off that outside claw because there's a big hollow in the middle right now. And there's all this kind of stuff needing taken off. See how we get on with that. But it's not looking too pretty at the moment. Uh, she's a bit swollen up here as well, so I'll give her a wee bit of Metacam to re reduce the swelling in there. Right, you can see them there. It's a lot better. They're not perfect. I'm not claiming to be perfect anyway, but she'll be way more comfortable on them. Here you go. Metacam. So this is anti-inflammatory. It'll do it well. What a mess. That's all bits of hoof. Doesn't smell particularly nice. Right, that's her out. She's still limping on it, but that's because I think it's quite tender up the top here. So I've given her anti-inflammatories. So hopefully give her a few days and that'll improve her a lot, but we're going to keep her here at this farm. I'm not going to put her along the road just to keep an eye on her. Hey, beast. Hey. Ruth, she's actually called Ruth. She came with a name tag. Pals with Holly. Right, so the new tractor's arrived. Hen's going out tomorrow, so there's boxes arrived for them, which also means there's a hen shed to clean in the next two weeks. Brilliant. Morning, ladies. Okay, time to scare some crows away. I think I can drive up the flowers without making a total mess. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. <clears throat> Click! 100 newton meters, that definitely calibrated. Armed. We're in action. Right, that's that. We've set up across this field, so hopefully that'll keep a good lot of the crows down. Some flowers are tearing through, they're all coming now. Plenty of them. So that's a good start. There's not too much sunshine forecast for the next week um, or five days, and then after that, it's to warm up and get sunny, hopefully. So that'd be fine. I can deal with that. Yeah, so the children's are now closed, so I'm going to go and shift the flower picking signs. We'll keep them for next year. Last two boxes, and then there's a pile of fence posts to come out, which is to do with the project that's just about to start. Hopefully, there's going to be some um, big yellow machines turn up today. Diggers and dozers and 
dad took this fence down the other day, so I'm just clearing up the, the bits of fencing that he's rolled up. From, from that gap there, all the way around here, this fence is all coming down. I won't tell you today what it is, but you can have a guess. That can be today's question. What's the project that's about to start? I'll give you some clues. So this bit of grass here, all the fences come down and the posts are all coming out. There's no sunflowers in that wee patch there. And that's where the farm and shop is relative to this field and the sunflowers there. What's happening here? Put your guesses down below. Wrong answers would be appreciated as well. Such as a water park or a strip club. Dung grip on and Kev's gonna tackle the rest of all that dung this morning. Well, I'll take a wee while, there's a fair bit there. These gates have to come out as well, so I'm just hopefully that's going to come off of that post easily. There you go, that's it off. Right, Kev's just bringing the trailer in, he's just underneath the trailer re torquing those bolts. We used the trailer for half a day after we replaced the U-bolts um, and the nuts, so he's just down re torquing them because they can jiggle about and kind of position them in, in place, so they'll need tightened a wee bit again. Obviously, I'm not going to fit out any doors with this gate. But if you lay it down and come in from the end, you can take it out. The seam on this is goosed. So before the window falls off and smashes, I'm going to take it off. Need to get some sealer and put that back in, but I've not got any just now and we're using the part list, so. I don't like having a gap there. Feels very peculiar. Looks a bit daft that, and I've got no window. Going to go and whip all those posts out quickly. More posts in there than you think. I've just got one wee line of them left to do. But the grapes full. Dump these here next to the pallets, and then any decent posts. I'll chuck in a pallet. I need to take off the wee plastic uh, wire holders. Laurie's just arrived with the other load of concrete panels, so we'll go and get them unloaded. Kev's been totally start, stop, start, stop at this dunk. Never got a chance to get a big whack of it done. We'll get these unloaded. Then there's hens going out about two o'clock, so we need to fart for that. And there's no fucking window in here. Sometimes we need a fleet like Ollie has. We've kind of got three. We've got this JCB, and another yard we've got the same JCB but a bit older. And then got the wee electric one so not quite as capable as a as mini Merlot but handy very handy got the first one off but we're going to need to change how we're doing because it, it takes flipping ages like this we've got another chain and some more loops so we're gonna change it because you have to put this through these hooks and they're a nightmare change of tact we've got the one with a hook on the other side should be a lot quicker like this so much quicker just shifting these fat bags so we can get a bit of space to put the blocks because you need to get access to one side of the blocks to be able to lift them up and obviously we can shift the trailers easy but in here I don't want to put blocks in here because uh, moving the barley takes a lot more time so I'll dump the fat in here Last one, this one and the one before it are a wee bit more scabby, they obviously sat in the back of the yard and got lathered in rain for a while. There we go, Laurie Dunn, father and son duo, they shift quite a lot of those concrete walls and bunker walls and anything for where they're from. I'll be back in the boat tonight. putting this feeder out so they can finish this bale, save us scrapping it. That's the post squared up, good ones, a load of rubbish. Steady does it, steady does it. 
Nailed it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Come on. Come on. Is it gonna go? One more gate to come out to one that's lying on the ground. Right, heading to Pool Station now. I need to pick up some sealant for the window out of the forklift. We got the stuff. Quite expensive, this CT1. Meant to be good though. In the hen shed right now. Don't know what you can see from there, but hens have all gone out today, so in the next week and a half, two weeks, me and Kev are going to get this all cleaned and washed down, disinfected. Brilliant job. <laughs> I'm joking. Just get the water tanks emptied. If that'll flipping work. Water's off. That's two water tanks up there. So they're draining at the moment because we to fill them up with disinfectant, flush them out. So drain them all out. All the electric's off. The mains water's off. That's basically it for now. And then a digger will come. And there's a section at the end. Uh, which detaches, shift that out of the way. We can manage that with a forklift, no bother. And then the digger can drag the whole thing along that way. It's on kind of like skis, take it out of the road. And then there's a big pile of hen pen under there, shift all that out of the road. Then the whole shed, the whole shed gets washed, then disinfected, then put it all back together. If you tot up all of those things to do, if you hammer it for nah, three days, is pushing it, four days to do all that between me, Kev, and them. Um, Ian Ralston coming in with a digger. Four days. Four days to get everything done. But it's four days solid of not doing any other jobs. So can't wait. Kev's made a good dent in all of this. Just that wee corner left to do. So there's probably only two, two and a half loads in there. Need these two. What do you think these are? Before I start to use them and you figure out what they are. Have you guessed yet? covers for the post holes. Needing a bit more room in here. I think tomorrow it gets emptied. The poor mutts obviously hurt our foot. What's up with you Doug? You get a good view down there actually. It's good access for the dug I guess. <laughs> sort of paw, what have you done to it? What have you done to it? Eh, what's up with you? What have you done? Seems alright. Bit like my ankle. Let's get this window back in, degrease all around here, if I can hit the damn thing. Because it's going from like a rubber seal here, not just glass, onto the metal frame of the forklift. Wasn't that sure what stuff to get, so this is multi-purpose, but it's meant to be really, really good. Quite expensive though, so relative to a new window though, inexpensive. Same on here. Can you tell I'm missing the silicon gun? It's not stupid if it works. It's yet to work, but hopefully it'll work. What's the chances this goes to plan? So hopefully that does the job. I didn't want to clamp it because it'd just be pinpoint bits of force. Maybe not on a bit of glass, but if I put a bit of pressure in the middle, which is what I've done with that, it'll pressurise all around the outside of the seam, rather than just loads of clamps around the outside. Just a bit awkward. So, just did that and tell you in the morning whether it worked. And hopefully there's no lorries or anything arrive for wheat, because we've sold a bit today. Sold four loads. Whether that was a good idea or not, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we've sold some of it. Right, cheers for watching. It's raining. Actually, I'll show you what's been going on in here. An update. Corridor. Store number one. Store number two. Something, not sure. More corridor. Staff room, toilets. Meeting room slash uh, making up hampers room, maybe. Same in here. Sockets are all going into the walls. Lighting circuits are in. Doorways are in, need some doors, need a door here. Waste for the toilet, sink, any copper pipes like that. They are radiator pipes. Because we've got the wood chip boiler biomass system, um, heating in here and hot taps and things like that are worthwhile putting in. Shh. 
save us paying to recycle water. Yeah.